So we learned this morning from the White House that President Biden has tested positive for COVID-19, obviously has significant implications for um, not only his day to day schedule, he's had travel planned to Pennsylvania later today that has been canceled, but and, and also mostly the functionings of government. Um, the White House has emphasized that he will continue to work in isolation. Uh, they also emphasize that the White House protocol goes above and beyond CDC guidance. That means that he will actually work in or stay in isolation until he tests negative. It, even though it is a mild case, he is the president of the United States. So, and also not only is he the president of the United States, but he is in a higher risk group just by the virtue of his age. He is 79 years old. He had dodged the coronavirus for the last uh, for the last two years when seemingly uh, everybody had been diagnosed at least once. But because of that higher risk, um, it, because of being in that higher risk group because of his age, the White House has said he is already taking Paxlovid, the, the antiviral medication. I was part of the traveling press pool with the president on Wednesday when he went to Somerset, Massachusetts to talk about climate change. And he, uh, one of the questions that he, we asked him when he came back, uh, back in Washington, he talked to the press pool for a few minutes. And one of the questions we asked him was, what is your message to the American public in this next stage of the coronavirus when the breakthrough infections, particularly the various variants of Omicron seem to be multiplying all the time? What should the country be doing right now? Getting vaccinated. And for those who aren't? They've got a problem. It's not, it's not in their interest or the public interest not to get vaccinated. We have the capacity to control it. They should get vaccinated.